Hi, in this video you will learn how to compile reclass.net and a plugin. You will also learn how to install Visual Studio as an offline toolchain in Windows. First off, we download the source code of reclass.net. After that, we download the source code of the plugin. Because we also have to unpack and pack files, we need a file archiver. The Visual Studio Bootstrapper requires .NET to be installed. If we want to download Visual Studio, we first need to download the Bootstrapper. For this video, we don't want to download everything, but just what we need. To decide what we need, we take a look at the list of workloads. We can see there's a lot to choose from. Through trial and error, we found out which workloads we need, which are shown here. While reading the instructions, we can also anticipate on how to install from the local files. Here we rename the bootstrapper to make typing easier later on. As we can see, we need .NET to be installed. We also quickly install the file archiver. To actually download the files for Visual Studio, we need to open a command prompt and run the bootstrapper with specific parameters. We use the workloads we have found on the list we have seen earlier.
we quickly create a backup of the downloaded files. To install Visual Studio, we run the bootstrapper in the download directory with slightly adapted parameters. We can see that no internet connection is required. Now we unpack the source code of reclass and the plugin and also rename the directories to comply with the supplied solution files. We open the reclass solution file. We can see there have been some errors loading the solution files, so we save it and open it again. We now use batch build to compile versions for release and where possible 64 bits.
In a similar way, we compile the plugin by opening its solution file and use batch build for the release and 64 bits version. We have to modify the directory structure of reclass by creating a plugins directory and copying the plugin into that directory. We also want to make a backup of what we compiled. We use that backup as a starter for testing reclass and the plugin. By the way, you can set reclass to randomize the window title. We can also set reclass to use our plugin, which allows us to load a file instead of a process. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel to support the creation of future content. Bye.